All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are in the most exquisite place you can possibly be. You're in the awesomers.com podcast episode series, episode number 233. As always, for the video viewers, you saw me look at my list because there's a bunch of them and I don't want to get that number wrong. So episode 233, just go awesomers.com slash 233. You can see show notes, details, and any other little golden nuggets we put there. Now, we're in the middle of our Axiom mini-series. That's right. I'm putting a little mystery for the video viewers. I'm putting my eyebrows up like I'm about to reveal something really, really important. And it's true, not, not despite my antics, but in parody with my antics, Axiom 18 is about to be revealed. And it's one of my favorites. And it's something is better than nothing. Now, you might think, and you might ponder that just for a moment, and you say, now what does Steve mean something is better than nothing? Why would that merit Axiom 18? Has anybody ever said something is better than nothing to you? And that has vast amounts of applications in the awesomer world, right? So here's what it means to me. Often, I face significant um, workload challenges, time challenges. Uh, the team is up against deadlines and we have lots of different priorities and we have to start making decisions around, you know, what we should do. Uh, is the juice worth the squeeze, right? Throwing a little axiom love out there. Uh, and, and truthfully, there are some things that like, we have to do this. It's not a super big revenue producer, but we've got to make some progress. And you know what? Some kind of progress is better than no kind of progress, which is another way of saying something is better than nothing. So as you have things that are like utility types of items, you must make progress on those, even though they're not as fun. <clears throat> Perhaps they're not even as uh, investment ROI centric, but they are things that need to be done. So you might do this with... Um, price list updates to customers, or you might have this with financial statements. I got to read the financial statements, or I got to produce this report, or, you know, there's any number of things that are just like, oh, I do not want to do this, but something is better than nothing, right? So you may say, for example, hey, I need this really comprehensive item profitability report, and I, I want these 20 data points, and your tech team goes, we can give you 12, and you say back to them, hey, you know what? Something's better than nothing. Uh, let me know the, you know the roadmap for the others that I want, but here's the 12 that you agreed to. Something's better than nothing. Let's move on. That, that is a level of compromise that is reasonable. I don't want you to compromise the, your values, right? So there's certain core values you have. I'm not asking you to compromise those, but you will have to compromise timelines, budgets, um, personnel choices, you know, there's some things you're just going to have to compromise. And I want you to remember that incremental progress comes in a series of kind of micro steps. It's rarely a giant leap forward, right? It's most often just a series of small steps. And that's why this something is better than nothing is a mentality that you have to embrace. In fact, you're celebrating those little victories. Instead of going, hey, we broke, you know, I, I remember starting a business and saying, gosh, I wonder if we can do a million dollars in a year. And we did a million dollars in a year. And I go, well, now I know that, that answer, right? And something's better than nothing. So kudos to me and the team. And, you know, we're world beaters because we met this goal. And then I was sitting around and I was feeling plucky one day. And I said, I wonder if we can do a million dollars in a month. Mm -hmm. Can we do a million dollars in a month? And we started getting close to there, but not quite there. And I'm like, yeah, something's better than nothing, right? Yeah, you, you went for it. You know, you're doing, you know, 600, 700, 800,000 a month, but you're not quite there. Ah, say la vie, something's better than nothing. But sure enough, enough of that incremental small steps happened. And then the million dollar month happened, right? And you're like, wow, that's amazing. Because this, this incremental, right? You're turning all these dollars, you're making all these small steps. Even though those are not the ones that people post on Instagram. Nobody goes, uh, I reviewed my PL for two hours today and I am, you know, ready to jump off a bridge, right? 
there's some things we do or we're forced to do and it's a nightmare. And that's not what the Instagram fake world shows you, right? They're all going, Hey, look at this shiny new car, blah, blah, blah. Right. Or, Oh, look at this vacation house with this private jet that I'm standing next to, but not flying on. That's what I'm trying to get across here. Celebrate those small things. Something is better than nothing. Right. When I, I went to one of my merchandisers and I said, Oh, by the way, I'll finish the million dollar story. Once we hit the million dollar month, I had the audacity to say, I wonder if we can do a million dollars in a day. What would that be like? And for a long time, we didn't until we did, right? And you guys can go listen to one of the other Awesomers episodes about my first million dollar day attempt. And uh, I wrote an article about it and I'd record a podcast about it. But it really shows you the value of incrementalism, right? Something is better than nothing. And ultimately, all those somethings that are better than nothing add up to a whole lot of, you know, your goal. And, and so my, my point, I got a little off track with the, the million dollar year, then month and day. And, and by the way, we went beyond that. And, and that's in various companies and different times. And it's not that we can't do that now. We, let's just say we know how to put numbers on the board, shall we? Uh, but I want to just tell you that in your company, this applies to, to all kinds of different things, right? I was talking about my merchandiser earlier when I got sidetracked. I went to her and I said, hey, we need to, to work with Staples and get these items, you know, going with Staples. And she's like, I am, you know, getting hammered by, you know, 50 different things. You know, you want these 10 items on Staples. I, I might be able to get five on there by the end of the week. And you know what I said? Something's better than nothing, right? Because I can't be unreasonable. I can't say it's 10 or ounce because I'm just displacing something else, right? Everything has a cause and effect to it. And I think often as entrepreneurs, especially, right? Cause we're scatterbrained uh, many times. I'm one of my strengths, put that in quotes is ideation. So I'm full of ideas, right? And I'm a learner, right? So I'm always learning, right? Even for just for the sake of learning. And that can, can show itself, reflect itself into my people as me constantly asking them to do more stuff, even though they already have a full-time job. They're fully committed with their time. And here I show up and ask them to do more stuff. So we have to be, as managers, realistic and remind yourself, you know what? Something's better than nothing, right? It's not, we can't expect it all at all times. That goes against the laws of physics. It goes against the laws of capitalism, um, perhaps even against the laws of nature itself. My whole point is if you start to say, you know what, small wins are okay with me. Let's get a bunch of small wins, right? You hear people in the United States use baseball terminology and they say, instead of swinging for the home run every time, let's just get a bunch of base hits. That's how you score points, by the way. You get a bunch of base hits. Those are far less likely to draw the ire uh, and the black hat tactics of your competition. They're far less likely to raise your radar on Amazon to, to a level that Amazon's trying to let their AI algorithm uh, put you in jail, right? It's just a series of base hits. Something's better than nothing, right? This mentality has far reaching um, kind of benefits to it. And that's, that's what I'm trying to get across to you today. So as trite as that may sound, and it's, it's you know, they're words. So what do you want me to do about that? But it's the, the words in a certain order form a sentence. Oh, write that one down, everybody. Something is better than nothing. That's axiom 18. And it's really important that you think about those small wins and you think about what's reasonable. And you consider maybe, maybe you displace other things, right, to get this something done because that's certainly getting that done is better than nothing. And that's the lesson of axiom 18. So episode 233, everybody, uh, awesomers.com com slash two three three that's where you go find the show notes details find all the cool kids uh and by the way no reason you can't subscribe share save etc and do all the things that i have become so persistent about just do it you know what i want if you haven't left a review i'm begging you five star review right now take you five minutes maybe less maybe two minutes of your fast typer but I want you to put your heart and soul into it. Tell me why this matters to you. Tell me if it's valuable to you. Tell me what else you want us to do. We'll listen. We're all about listening. And you know what? Some feedback is better than no feedback at all. Ooh, I turned it around on you. Something's better than nothing, everybody. 
Uh, we will catch you next time. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye.